afternoon and welcome to the great big old state of Texas. Vonda Putt here. How are y'all doing today? Today I am using some leftover Arteza paints and I already did this background and I just fell in love with it. And how I got this effect was from watching Sherry from um, Sherry Moulton, I believe is her name. I'll find the link and put it below. And she calls it a um, schmear or smear, schmear. I say schmear because <laughs> I'm from Texas. But anyway, that's how I did the sky. And what I'm going to do with the autumn colors is I'm going to do a tree, hopefully, <laughs> in the middle coming up with its branches all spread out with the fall colors on the leaves for leaves. Okay, so I'm going to take you down and we're going to get started. Okay, here we go. I have some dark, I think it's called deep space brown or dark brown and it's going to be my trees. So I'm going to try to do some tree limbs. This is quite thin. So I want to try to tip it and see if that will run out like limbs. I don't know why I have this on my spinner now, just easier to get to, I guess. Okay, it's going to be a little thin, I think. Oh, maybe not. That one's moving. I don't know if you can see that. paint on there. I just wanted to try it so I didn't want to get too much on the first try. Okay, that looks kind of cool. Looks more like a deer horn. <laughs> but let me see what else I can do here. Sorry, I'm just kind of experimenting with this, um, actually with this part of it. Um, Sherry did this beautiful Christmas tree and um, I just fell in love with it. And then I was watching um, another artist. I'll have to remember who that was. I think it was, um, yeah, I actually think it might have been um, oh, I'm terrible with names today. My names are not coming to me. What is her name? Y'all know her. I know you do. Um, Trying to think of her name, sorry I'm being so quiet, but trying to think of what her name was. Anyway, Sherry had done this um, schmear and um, this other artist was doing it and mentioned Sherry, so I went and I watched Sherry, which I watch Sherry all the time, but I hadn't seen her do this particular schmear and um, I really enjoyed it a lot doing it on here and I wish now that I would have done it on camera because it was pretty cool the way I did it, um, the way it worked. So I'm just going to um, 
I'll do another whole painting with it in there. And I might do some on the ground of this um, when I get it done and um, just give you an idea of what it was that she did and how I did this like sky effect here that's got all the cells and stuff in it. Um, Well, this is definitely starting to look like a tree and I'm going to kind of whoops I keep drizzling I don't know why I keep dripping like that I want to make this down the center kind of the trunk here some gold up in here too just to give it a little more contrast Okay, so far, the tree, tree tops, going down the trunk and to the ground. Okay, I think I just got my thumb in that. I think I may have to let this dry. Gonna put a little bit of this gold in here now just to um, give it a little contrast.
to that. Just a little contrast. I have to let this dry now and then we'll come back. Okay, we're back. It's the next day. It's been 24 hours. The tree is nice and dry. I really like the way it dried. Um, the colors look really cool. Um, so today I'm going to be doing the fall colors, the leaves falling. Um, I just got to pull my hair up, put my gloves on, and we'll get started. Okay, so let me show you my colors again. I have these five different colors that I'm going to be using for leaves. And these are the sponges I use. And I have a small one cut here that I use a lot for leaves. And I just have several different ones for different shapes. out of here and show you. So just different ones that have different um, shapes on them. Just a bunch of different ones. So I just use what I think is going to look good at the time. So I think we're going to start with this orange that I just made up. And you just put it on the sponges and then just kind of tap it off. Just so you can see, I just put some on there and then kind of tapped it off. And you just simply, where you want that color, you just tap it. Okay, so can you see that? So I had some smudges down here, so I'm going to put some flower or some leaves down here also. Um, and around the base of the tree. I'm just going to do that again and just do it wherever I want orange at. And you can see how they just start to look like leaves. Okay, so I'm just going to continue doing that. Um, let me go grab my water glass here. Well, I'll just make one here in a minute. Um, yeah, so we'll just add some orange where we want the orange. And then um, we'll just pour some water in the glass. Whoops. In the glass. And have that here. And I'll just drop my sponges in it when I'm done with them. So they can soak. So I really like the shape of that one. But I'm pretty much done, I think, with that orange color. Okay, I'm going to do some of the uh, red now, I think. And it's a marmalade by um, Arteza. Remember, these are the Arteza Metallics. the wind to kind of be blowing leaves this way. Okay, 
okay so I'm gonna use another one and I think I'm going to do the um, the brownish gold more of a brown gold divert this light a little bit so I can see it better. Actually, I need to bring the light over and I need to look at the composition a little bit. turn this around and use the other end and I'm going to use the light gold And a little bit of the yellowish gold. And then with the red and the orange, you can see the way that the leaves are kind of all blowing more that way. That's the effect I want. Okay, I'm going to do the lighter, real light gold now in a few spots. I'm going to add a little bit of the orange to that. I really like that orange color and I don't think I got very much of it down here. Okay, I'll let you look at that and see what you think. My fall tree done with the sponges. And I think I want just a little bit of some snow. I don't know if I want it falling. I haven't really decided yet. But you know what? I do have... Let's see. I think I'm going to have to let this dry. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do for the snow, okay? Be back. Okay, we're back with the tree. It's all nice and dry, 
And now I'm going to try to do a snowstorm coming from this side to this side. Because you can obviously see that the leaves are blowing this direction. But I want to add a little bit of snow. So I've got a little bit of white paint on my brush. This is the Saks True Flow mixed with some of the Sargent's Acrylic Pearlescence Pouring Medium and some water. So I'm just going to put my finger on this and pull it back this direction and let it slowly go that way. Oh, maybe I don't have enough. Oh, I see a few speckles. Okay, let me try that again. Don't want to get too much because I don't want it to be like a flur, like a snow flurry or anything. I just want it to be like gently snowing. Okay, there's a little bit on there. You can't see it very good, but um, I think what I will do is Oh, this roll of paper towel, package of paper towels, I tell you, they come off in sections, but they come off in pieces of sections. So they're not very good, but that's all they have. So I'm thinking maybe now that that's settled, I can gently just do a directional pull on it. But you know what? I think it's already dry, but I'm going to spray a little bit of water on this and see if I can, can get it to do that. Turn it back around so I can get it. Hey, honey. Hey. That box was so heavy because it had my glue and the girls' bath bombs in it. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, now tell me what you think in the comments. Is that enough snow blowing? I'm going to put some snow down here around the trunk like it has snowed before and it's kind of stuck down there. Um, I'm going to use my paintbrush to just kind of put some like on the side where the wind is blowing maybe a little bit like that. it a little bit so it looks like it's kind of sticking.
looks like it's getting hot under there, maybe across this bottom part here just a little bit. I'm just going to wrap this up and make it do this so it kind of looks like snow. Don't want it to be a straight line or anything. Okay, let me get this on here straight and I'll turn it back around to you. What do you think now? Almost needs to be more like snow bankish, I guess. Although I really just love it being able to see the roots of the tree, so and the leaves coming through, so I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. So, I think it's done. What do you think? Bring you in for a close close up. There's the snow blowing that direction. Snow in the roots. Okay, well, I hope you like it. I am going to um, possibly, I'm thinking about possibly doing a little bit of bling on this. I'm not quite sure yet, but if I do, you'll be the first to see it here. Thank you. Bye.